were counted in the 2010 census. Now it's up to a small group of people to determine your place on a legislative map. Let's spend five minutes discussing the process of redistricting with State Representative Marty Causer. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, can you explain to the viewers out there what is redistricting? Well, we have a number of issues that we're working on in Harrisburg, but first and foremost right now is the redistricting process, and it's something that, uh, that we go through every 10 years. There, uh, every 10 years there's a census to determine how many people live in a, in a certain county, in a certain municipality, and, and then the uh, legislative district lines need to be redrawn based on that population. So we, we have to draw the legislative lines for the U.S. congressman and also for the, the state house and state senate. So we're right in the middle of that process. And I guess the purpose is just to keep the, the uh, districts roughly the same size and population. Yes, the purpose uh, is, to, is to make sure that there's equal representation that uh, you know each, each congressional district or legislative district contains the same amount of same number of people so that there's equal representation in in all those legislative bodies. And then what is the difference between uh, drawing up the congressional lines and the state legislative lines? Well the the congressional lines are actually drawn by the state legislature so um, right now in Pennsylvania uh, we have 19 congressmen and because of the last census we've, we've gained population but not as fast as some other states so we're actually losing a congressman and we'll have 18 seats so the state legislature needs to redraw the district boundaries to to essentially draw out one congressman and uh, you know fill in that gap so that's that's something that the state legislature has to do in the form of a bill a regular piece of legislation uh, the the state process is done by a commission made up of the leaders of the of the legislature, the state house and state senate, with a, uh, a supposed neutral chairman who, uh, through this this year's process, is a retired uh, uh, superior court judge. I see. Uh, where are the the growth areas in the state? Well predominantly in the Poconos region and also the suburbs around uh, uh, the city of Philadelphia and that's where uh, they've had significant growth uh, especially in the Poconos region where a lot of people are coming in from New York and, and down uh, along the southern border of Pennsylvania. Most of western Pennsylvania has actually lost population. In uh, northwestern Pennsylvania where we're at every county has lost population except Forest and that's mostly because a state prison was built there so okay. uh, because you know, because we're losing population, almost all of the legislative districts in that region have to get larger to accommodate, you know, to, to account for more people. Uh, in my circumstance, uh, my district has to gain 6,500, at least 6,500 people from somewhere. So mm -hmm. I'm, I currently represent uh, all or parts of three counties, and it looks like I could be in four or even possibly five. So people who are represented by you now currently may not be uh, and you may gain people that you don't currently have now in your district. That is possible. I mean there's there's uh, there's seat movement where they pick up seats and move them to other parts of the state because they have to accommodate for that mm -hmm. that population growth but then there's also uh, changes in the district line so uh, knowing that I have to gain 6,500 people you know at least that many it's uh, a circumstance where the district has to get larger and that population has to come from somewhere you know we're right in the middle of that process right now and, and uh, it's undetermined where where that uh, where that'll go right now well uh, what is the next step and, and where do we go from here well the next step is to come up with a preliminary map and that should be coming out within the next two weeks and uh, uh, after that preliminary map is released then uh, uh, there will be a 30-day public comment period where the general public or any organization or group can can comment on where the district lines are and then uh, and then uh, it has to be approved by the state Supreme Court and there's the possibility of legal challenges also. So there is a process that has to, we have to go through, but essentially we have to get this finalized before the first of the year because there's certainly another election right around the corner. Yeah, candidates need to know where they can run, exactly. Absolutely, it's, it's something we have to get finalized. Okay, well thanks for the information. Thank you. And if you have comments or questions about this or any other legislative topic, Representative Causer's contact information will be shown in just a few moments. Thanks for, for spending five minutes with State Representative Marty Causer.